Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back with another recording of Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Let us continue. So, where are we? Let's see if we can do this one. Here. I need to at some point, probably, in this recording, just fly around all of the water area. Not sure if it's really going to get me anything to do that, but the only way I'll know for sure is by doing it. So no good villains have cleaned out the vault! That's four bands worth of my precious... I mean, the people's precious money making a getaway! Ram those punks off the road! Okay. Uh... So... Let's come over here to Doombot and see if we can catch up with him. Or if we need a car. Well, that's one. One down. Three to go, I suppose. I should really be playing this with the Hulk, actually. Because there is still an achievement for smashing cars as the Hulk. That's not one of them. I thought that was. Arrows. That's two. Destroying the vans seemed to scatter the money everywhere. I'm off to scrape up every last stud. I hope you didn't pocket any. So, I am not a super fan. I don't think about about them calling studs money. I've already had personally trouble keeping the two phrases separate and now the game won't even keep the phrase separate so they can't get rid of studs as the currency of the game but I think they probably should just try to avoid calling it money because there is actually Lego money we see it there are Lego Lego dollar bills, and I suppose you could say the studs are coins of some sort. Let's see. What do I have to do here? Slowly fall through here. Oops. Phoenix is probably not the best character to to do that in. We should come check out that circus that's in town. Hmm. Although I just don't know who the right character would be. Should it be a Hulk? Should it be Spider-Man? I imagine going with the Hulk would actually be a good move. He's gonna be big, he'll probably run into all the coins. I assume what they want me to do is to successfully jump from the top of this building through all the coins and not fly away. Which, this is already the third time I've tried this and it hasn't worked, so. Uh, maybe if we change the Hulk? Nope, nope. Uh, 
not yet. Let's get over here, land on the ground, and change back to Hulk. Do this. So, these coins are always here. There you go. Superior Spider-Man unlocked. Good. They're always there, it's just that... You have to kind of fly close to them to be locked into that gameplay method. Let's see. And yes, I am going to have to eventually do the races. I, I'm putting it off. I think this is pretty funny. It just says close. <laughs> close, close. Alright. Marvel HQ. Which I don't really think Marvel HQ is all of this building. It may be at this building. I'll give Grantham that it might be the possibility, but I don't believe that, that it is even there. It may have been at one time, but certainly not the entire building. You know what would really jazz up my Drax opponent's gigs? A lion. I know it's a bit unusual, but such is the way of jazz. The one by the circus looks like it could use a bit of music in its life. Sure. Why not? Let's go get you a lion. Because that makes total sense. How many gold bricks did we need to open this circus? Because we still haven't gotten in here. Oh, we do have enough to get in here. Interesting. I'm sure this is just another Deadpool level. Though. So let's do what we're doing right now first. And deal with the lion later. Uh, deal with the circus. Alright, we'll ride the lion. This will be funny. I'm sure all the people will be perfectly happy and fine with a lion. Who could possibly have any problem with a lion? Not cool. Well, actually, oddly enough, they they aren't having any problem with the lion. Is it a bird? I guess New Yorkers in the Marvel Universe have seen a lot, so somebody riding a lion down the street probably isn't that interesting of a uh, turn of events. But I totally expected them to be screaming and running for the hills. But no, they're more upset about getting run over by other drivers. I think they may have intentionally lowered the IQ of the drivers of the cars just so that they do hit more people see they that taxi hit that guy and nothing to do with me can the line go up the wall no but I'm Stanley isn't he amazing so how do I get the line up? No 
idea how that happened. Thanks, true believers. That guy doesn't look too good. Oh my gosh. So now we got all these statues. Maybe there's something I can do with these statues. Well, there's something there. Is this an elevator? No. Superheroes in New York. Hmm. Even if I could pick this guy up. Is there some kind of vehicle? It's pretty small. Not cool. What came first? Oh. Howard or the egg? Let's see. Yeah, it looks like all these Jeez. statues around Marvel HQ. Okay, here's a way up. Maybe this is it. We go up here, we go up here. This certainly seems to be accommodating riding a lion. Usually the platforms aren't double the width. I think he's stuck. There we go. Alright, so this one seems like a pretty tricky one to have to have all these ramps. Storm's having trouble getting up as much as I am. Here we go. So we're still not high enough, but now we see there is a way up. Kind of difficult if you didn't find any of this, or if you just screwed up miserably like that. Seems fortunately like the... Uh, well, there was a shield station there, so I suppose if I was heavily used to fast traveling to shield stations, I probably would have seen this section before. But... They're, they're really making the assumption that I should be completely familiar and have memorized this entire map when there really isn't that much to do in it. I mean, nothing is really pushing me to do any of these extra things. They're just, it's always coming down to do I want to continue playing or do I want to turn the game off? And as a YouTuber, of course, I can't just turn the game off, but as a regular player, I can see a lot of people just turning it off and saying, you know what, uh, some other game has come out, and I think I'll play that instead, and I'll just, and they not even remember the potential fun they could have had with these extra Great work. sections. Now I just need an ostrich, and just kidding, one animal mascot ought to do the job. So we've unlocked Drax. Pretty small, if it is. Alright, let's find the Mr. Fantastic portal that's right here. Is it over here? Is it over here? No, it's over here. Turn into Mr. Fantastic. Go through here. Turn into Cyclops, who is a faster choice for a laser beam than going through all of the different versions of Iron Man to get the Mark 42 set. 
suit. Alright. So there's one more statue somewhere around here. There it is. One twenty. Wait a minute, didn't I already get Superior Spider Man? Hmm. We should go check out that circus that's in town. Let's go over here instead. Maybe there's another Spider Man thing that just have to jump from the same place over and over again. Or maybe I just didn't do it right. Okay, I remember this. This was before we Times could like this I wish I worked in England. They know how to wait in lines, or should I say queue over there. I keep telling these people single file between the lines. I move them myself, but they don't let me do that anymore. Ah so we we were here before and didn't realize we could switch people. So we were totally confused as to what needed to be done. There. This is a very simple puzzle. You just have to know you can change characters. You, you got them to wait. Order is restored. Have this for your As the car crashes. organized collection. There we go. Next. Here we go. Let's see. Do I want to fly and spend the time trying to change to a different character, or do, do I want to just run around? I guess it kind of is faster just to run, if, if you're only a block or two away. Feast. Uh, I promised to whip up some carrot soup for the shelter today, but I'm one carrot short. And only a monster would feed the homeless under carroted soup. What do you say? You get me one? Okay, so this is one of these levels again that is completely designed for us to run around and oh, see amazing. more of the map. I think maybe some of the races are like that too. There we go. Still haven't gotten the 200,000. I'm, I'm not sure if we're going to really get to it. I think we're going to end up in front of the grocery store that we were at before. I know what you're thinking. Uh, there's some groceries over here. Are there any carrots? No. Nope. Bad guys just decided to attack me, I guess. Hmm. Where's the carrot? Over here. I don't even know who these bad guys are. I don't know which team they work for. I think I've seen him. Oh, that green guy has a carrot. Oh, watch it, buddy. Oh, so we, we're taking this bad guy out. We stole this carrot thief. Stop, carrot thief. We've got the carrot. That's all we needed to do. Okay, that's kind of cool. We've seen two puzzles like two quests like this where you chase after somebody who stole something. Now, even with all of these quests combined, 
I don't see, think you get a real complete game He's all right, I suppose. this way. Hey, I'm I don't think you could have taken the 15 story levels He's out dead. and uh, called it a complete game. In a lot of ways, you might even say that oh, Lego. Wonderful. The homeless guys are gonna have vitamin A coming out their ears. The Thanks, guys pal. are still attacking me. Uh, you might even say that Telltale T not TT games, not Telltale. That's a different company. Surprisingly enough, uh, only makes half Lego games and then comes back later and combines them into a full. Uh, a fu full game. So Lego Marvel Avengers very well may be the second half to this game. That might be alright though because Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga was kind of long and kind of monotonous and it, if you take a bit of a break between the games you're probably gonna enjoy them a little bit more. Let's see. Pizza place. Is this a shawarma place? It, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Hard to tell. Let's see. That switch will need some kind of weapon or sharp object to trigger it. Oh, I know exactly who can do that. Beast. Wait, is he a web slinging character? Really? No, he isn't. But he does have the senses. Interesting. It seems like they've done an interesting uh, thing about about switch combining characters. Very much in Lego Star Wars, there was Jedi's all had the same power. In this game, it feels like Wolverine might have some of the powers of some characters, but he doesn't have all of them. So, like, Wolverine has senses and claws, but I don't think he's intelligent like Beast is. So, I think that's cool. I'll grant that. It still doesn't really explain uh, my personal problem with them with them saying certain characters are smart and certain characters can't do anything with computers because it really feels like okay I need a uh, fire that's what I need fire would be human torch since that's frozen there we go. That was a pretty sweet backflip there. The pizza van is unlocked. Alright. Get Phoenix and fly. <laughs> Flying is still very much a nightmare. Let's see. Feels like they want me to slide on this. This is cool and all, but I can't help but feel like this is going to turn into a race and when we do this race. I'm, it's going to be painful to get through all of that that fast. Hmm. 
It is a race. Alright, let's switch to uh, Black Widow, who I think for these foot races are, is the right choice. Did I miss it? I think I may have missed it. Now this isn't going to work well at all. So the problem is these things get in the way. Totally. Uh, that's not the right one. There must be something else. Come on, come on, don't do this to me, stupid game. Yeah, if I'm flying here, can I get the B prompt? Nope. Yeah, there's a one over here that we messed up. Alright. Hmm. It puts us in the same position each time. We gotta run over here. Gotta run over here. Is there one over here? Yes, there is. Do we have to slide through here? Yes. Yes. So I gotta keep an eye out on the next one. Oh man. The one assumes we have to go back, back through here. And then. Oops. <laughs> Only the Phoenix can fly up high. So if we go over here, there's probably one that we're gonna fall all the way to these candy cane shaped things and I bet this is the office of daredevil or something so maybe I should play as daredevil let's see this feels like a daredevil thing Are we even in Hell's Kitchen? Let's see. Darn it! I bet this is right on top of his office. I bet this is supposed to be right on top of it. Alright. So one last try. We were so close there. So, so close. I think Daredevil is the right one. 
Uh, unfortunately, it also feels like we are going to end up having a few recordings that are going to be longer. Or pro probably the same length, but less will be actually accomplished in the recording as you just watch me do races like this. Maybe I'll do them off screen, maybe I won't. can't jump off the rope, which is interesting. What, what in the world is, did I not make it or did I miss something? Did I just jump through it? Hmm. Oh, this is irritating. Like, I missed maybe one. I guess I should just run through this and not jump. I couldn't have possibly missed anything else. You come down here, you hit this, and then you run here, and don't you run here? Did I miss something? Let's see, you come down here, you run through this one. Maybe I'm supposed to run through this one and it didn't do that. Maybe that's the difference. Maybe I missed one. Let's see. It would be really nice if they bothered to do a little camera fly through of the race. Show me what I'm supposed to do. But they are being pretty sneaky here about zigzagging. And they sh shouldn't be showing me these other green ones if the point is supposed to be that I'm not supposed to hit those. This one, this one, is there another one? Not that I see. Hmm. Did I, I'm confused. I'm totally confused. I am totally confused and I'm not willing to do any more of that. So either I'm missing it by a few seconds or it's bugged out or something else. Let's go to this helicopter. <laughs> Nothing there screams out to me like that is supposed to be done by a flying character or by perhaps a vehicle that doesn't make any sense at all. I think we're gonna go to the circus too. Alright, so we have this one. Where's the switch for that one? Hmm. Heroes for Hire. So the Heroes for Hire are some it, Hell's Kitchen characters that Daredevil and Jessica Jones work with on occasion. Here we go. Let's 
Obviously. Can I break this wall? Sense is tingling. And I think that will get me over there. So, if I change myself to Black Widow, I should be able to activate this. Jump up there. And get to do that. Nice. So, I think we just need to go do this. We're going to the circus. We can open that circus, I want to see what it is. Uh, we very well might have to go to spend the entire recording going to every single location if we can't figure it out just by looking on the map. I think we can. Oh, watch it, buddy. This might be another extra level where we have to get a million studs. I hope not. What's up? Looky here. Hawkeye and Black Widow at the circus have gotten gooseberried by Iceman. Huh. As if things weren't bad enough for our merry bowmen, Nightmare has decided to take center ring. This trio are going to need some help with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a motorcycle. Since I'm not available, Ghost Rider is so the guy to do it. Ghost Rider. This could be a problem. That's so, not good. like, another character that I don't really feel like I would have been as surprising as not is even in the game. Wow, he is. This guy is doing a number, I think, mentally on me. All this green around me. I'm seeing all these skulls and skeletons. So... We need magnetic powers for that. What are we trying to do? I guess we're just mostly trying to get True Believer right now as we are in this circus and all those people are watching all of this, apparently. It looks like there's a collectible even right there, which I assume is what's going to start having to happen a lot more, is that we're going to have a lot more. Oh, there he is. I guess I had to find him and then punch him. Yeah, I, I assume that what we're gonna find out is we're gonna, as we play the levels through free play mode, more and more of the. Um, extra characters are going to be inside of those levels. It seems like it has to be both for extra characters and for gold uh, uh, gold bricks because there's just doesn't feel like there's enough here. Blow that up. Trying to blow things up like crazy. Let's play as... Well, we cannot play as... Ghost Rider. Let's play as Iceman. There we go. Now, I assume in Iceman's case, he could probably freeze the water. Freeze the sharks. Maybe? Nope. 
Ah, okay, I see. We need to put out the fires and let this jack in the box. go into this make a freezing one. so is I think we're supposed to be helping uh, what is his name? Skull Rider? I forgot his name Night <laughs> uh, Rider? is it? Death Rider? I can't remember huh, I should be fun I have completely blanked on the name of this character, but... Again, a very violent character to me in the Marvel Kids game. Uh, so, I see why they would only have him in one little level and not focus on him. But I can also see their argument of just leaving him out. Even though there was a movie about him, or two, that came out. They are hardly the movies that Marvel cares about. Maybe that's the whole point though, is that, that when this game was getting made, they just wanted to promote all the movies regardless. Um, let's see. I think if we break this here we can build this. Well, well, Mr. Big Shot. Hey, Looks like you've collected enough Lego studs to earn true believer status. I don't know who keeps leaving them everywhere. All I know is that I want them. There we go. Make a trampoline. Get up here and punch him. I need Iceman up here. Again. Iceman. Use your powers on these. And then build something new. It's a second ramp. Ah. Silly. But it makes sense. so I can get over here and do this. Hawkman, I mean, Hawkeye, different characters from different universes, has the ability to pull the strength. There we go. Let's play. Now he's driving around in a car, let's just destroy this car. I don't know who this bad guy is, I assume he has something to do with the Knight Rider. Character, or whatever his name is, I've really, really forgotten his name. Insanely forgotten his name. No excuse, it's just he's... So far from my memory. I never miss. Let's see. Fire. Fire. And fire. Flip. Flip the other way. Flip the other way. Flip the other way. Come up here. Shoot these with my exploding arrows. And step on the switch. That apparently inflates the balloons and allows him to ride again.
maybe that character will allow us to win more races. I mean, he's, his motorcycle does seem like it is kind of strong fast. Ooh, I bet that hurts. And it looks like date night is back on. You two kids better be home by 10.30. Ghost Rider. There's gonna be trouble. Looks like sweet dreams all around. Nighty night. Yeah. Surprised Ghost Rider even showed up. Also surprised I couldn't remember his name. Somewhat. So we unlock Ghost Rider, which will be an interesting experiment. And Nightmare, I assume, is a bad guy of Ghost Rider. Although, they did just stick him next to a X-Men character, but they're putting him alphabetical. Which probably is better because a lot of the bad guys in the Marvel Universe end up fighting in multiple uh, hey, no. good guys. Excelsior. Well, almost 125, but I seriously, seriously don't see another 125 or anywhere close to even a, another 100 in this overworld map. I just don't see it. I think what will happen is we'll get some for getting all the mini kits because there's quite a few of those. And let's see. Uh, there's, let's see, 66 of 115 characters are unlocked right now. That does not make any sense unless what has happened is it's only counted the ones I've paid for to unlock. And it's not counting the ones I've actually unlocked but haven't purchased. There's uh, 100 and... 26 gold bricks which is weird because there's 150 mini kits so if we divide 150 into 15 so to say whenever we get a complete set of 10 mini kits for each level that would be 15 more gold bricks that we potentially could get then we would just need another hundred and some change. There's only six more true believers that will get us that. That, get, that only gets us up to 145. Uh, there are still 46 Stan Lee and Perils. If those get us a gold brick, which I believe they do, that would be 46 plus 145, which puts us at 191 and then if we get a gold brick for getting the red bricks which would be really weird that still only gets us up to 200 so something's really missing here maybe there is a point somewhere where we can just purchase gold bricks uh, with studs maybe that's what we're gonna find out is we're missing that uh, we're going to have to, once we're done with everything else, click on things like this and see if we uh, if we have them all. But we don't have them all right now. We know that. We know when we click on this, it just sets it as a designation. This is a story level. We've still got quite a few collectibles, but it's getting less and less each recording we're getting them done this one uh, I believe required a ridiculous amount like 250 so we're not gonna probably even be able to do that one this looks like a cool car so yeah let's see Stanley in peril here I believe maybe and there's a uh, Spider-Man in white there, there's some sections over here we haven't even seen that we need to check out. A lot of lake and river stuff we need to check out too. So we still got quite a bit to do. Uh, it's getting smaller and smaller though. Uh, after a while the only thing that will be left are these shield teleport stations and these levels. 
and then uh, because we'll even get the the races done hopefully uh, hopefully we'll get the races done we have quite a few of them let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine uh, 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 looks like there might be 16 17 maybe even 20 races on this map if each one of those ends up giving us a gold brick then we've got some we, we that would make more sense unfortunately I wish that wasn't the case though because I do not want to end up going through 20 races but seems like I'm going to anywho that's it for this recording as always I ask you to like share subscribe comment if you want to and watch every second of my videos if you want to support me you can click on my name Rido on the right will be a blue button that says support this channel click it and make a donation if you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.